And if, if this is what I think it is, this is gonna be one of my best finds ever. Y'all see that? You see the edge of the S right there? day two I've got Bayou Digs with me again and we're back out on the same location that we were yesterday and you can see it's just going to be a huge field it used to be a circus uh, that stayed out here and the plantation was back over this way and uh, so we haven't done a lot of this back over in this area there's just so much that we have not done yet and so we're back out here to give it another good whirl as soon as we get a good find, we'll put the camera on it, show it to you. So let's get the swinging. All right, I have it gone, but that far from the truck, and I've got my first signal. It's kind of a double hit, 11, 12. So it's going to be either a buffalo or it's going to be a V nickel or possibly haven't done any shield nickels off of this area here. But uh, we definitely been digging a lot of V nickels because the, the circus was here in 1909, I think. And it cost 35 cents to get in. And so you had to have a nickel, and there, there's a lot of nickels out here. And there we go. How about a double nickel spill? Check that out. Let's see what this is going to be. Yeah, it's going to be eating up toasted uh, V nickel. This one's in a little bit better shape. You can still see a little. Yeah, I can see the lady. Right there, Lady Liberty. Yeah, if it was a little bit more lighter out here, we could see them better. But that's two shield nickels. We might get a date off of them. I am down here on the other end of the field, away from uh, Bayou. He got a V-nickel right after I got my V-nickel. And we looked on the map this morning where he had laid out all the finds that we did yesterday. And, and I'm kind of in an area where we weren't really detecting too much. He detected just to the right of me and found those rings. And he found an Indian down here. So I came down here and got a 18, 19, 20, 21, jumping up and down. But mostly at the 18 19 then jump up to 20 and if it's jumping around it usually is an indian head but the reason why it was jumping around is the fact that there were two indian heads one two how about that let's see what this one's going to be maybe i can get a date off of this one let's see here you're right down there. 1895. Get that one. This one's going to be in good shape. 1906. It's going to be that one. All right. I think that's right. 1904, maybe. Well, I was getting an 1819, and I just cleaned it up. It's nice. Infield. Good infield bullet. First one we dug of those out here. We dug a lot of the couple of ringtail sharps and we dug mostly the mini balls. But uh, here is an infield. But right there in that tree line, where is the bayou? So they came right through the bayou and this would have been a good place to camp. And that's what we're thinking. There was a plantation house over there. So most likely they did camp right in this area or at least stage up here uh muster up here just a little bit or something why else would there be so many civil war bullets up here bayou digs is digging one right now bayou digs gave me the signal that there's going to be silver in the ground i just got through digging a war nickel i got to go back and show that to you so we both got silver already i got two indians and two v nickels starting out to be a great morning so what do you think A 20, definitely silver range. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be silver. 
what kind of silver we don't know come on barber come on seated right oh it's white clean too that's a seated. seated you got a seated man check it out all right that check is a seated dime i got one and you got one sit down in the dewy grass today. yeah <laughs> congratulations man can i look at it and get it on the camera here quick Absolutely. oh it's got a date on it it's got a date 1887 beautiful 1887 all right man check that out 87 seated yeah let me get a picture of that sure. congratulations there right. by you all right we're on the board here you go let me get a picture with you holding it up you are on the board man that's 1887 seated so that puts it way back here so i guarantee you you're right in the area where my seated was too okay. just nearby so i guarantee you my wife is a seated as well we both got seated we both got barbers, and uh, let's see if there's any more out here. Got a good spot. That's awesome. They got him a silver dime, seated dime. And at the same time, I got me a silver nickel. And there it is. Ringing up a jumpy. 18, 19, 20. It's going to be an S mint mark. All right. It's going to be an S. It's cleaning up really good, too. Coins have been coming out of this soil really good. I know I'm rubbing my nipples. 1945S. All right. And that's silver on the board today. You can see right here, I just dug that silver nickel. Right there, I got up. You always recheck your hole. And right beside it, I got another nickel. What is it going to be? If it's buffalo. Nope, it's yeah, it is gonna be buffalo. All right, I've got my nickel trifecta today. I got my two V nickels, I got my buffalo nickel, I got my war nickel now. Buffalo, let's see if this cleans up enough and get a date on it. Uh, I doubt it. Very rarely can you get dates. I might get a date off of that. We'll have to clean it up better later on. All right, there she is. Well. 18, 19, about eight inches deep. That's where they are. We, I'm coming back over here and just gridding off this section where we found those dimes. And I got a 18 solid, 18 solid, dug it up. And if, if this is what I think it is, this is going to be one of my best finds ever. Y'all see that? You see the edge of the S right there? It's tacoed over. Let me clean it up and get it out and without bending it. And let's see if we can get a better picture of it. Look at that, guys. I have never dug a U.S. plate. That's not a big belt buckle. I'm not sure what this is. It, it has two holes on each end. And uh, I'm not real up on my Civil War stuff. It's, it's, is it a belt buckle? I don't think so. I think it's going to be attached here and here. I don't know if that came off... Uh, what that is please comment let me know i'm not as thoroughly researched on my but i've got a buckle uh civil war belt buckle book at the house i would look this up but uh i thought for a second i was going to say cs but us so we definitely know there were some soldiers through here with that infield those sharps and those uh ring those uh mini balls gosh i'm just beside myself right now i can't believe this Well, get another solid 18. Yeah, another mini ball. I'll dig them all day long. I enjoy them. Good relics. Well, we're still back out in this field and I've uh, been all over it. The signals are getting kind of few and far between now, but I just got a real scream in 28. I'm just kind of working uh, this ditch line. And uh, usually 28s have been bottle caps and just trash, and I haven't been really been digging them. but. I see something here that's interesting to show you. All right. That is going to be a part of an old pocket watch. Get out of the light where you can see it. So that's a, that's a relic. I wish it was all there, but I'll take that. Huh, just a one hitter or just kind of? It was kind of vertical on the, on the uh, plug wall. Huh, yeah, sitting on side, they'll do that. I might have nicked it, but uh -oh. I, I did extract it. All right, we got another 
1903 Barber Dime. Yeah, you did kiss it, didn't you? When they're on edge like that, they're hard to hard to pinpoint. That's a silver today. second silver, and I only got one. You're hitting me today. All right. You got two dimes, <laughs> but I've got a U.S. You got that plate. Right. So, all right, man. It's good to know there's silver down here. Let's keep on at it. Yeah, another 1819. Got another mini ball. Well, right beside the other mini ball is another mini ball. All right, they keep popping up. I've dug a bunch of them out of here. I would like to get another buckle or two. That'd be great. Well, one, two, and now three. Little got a little spill here, a little mini ball spill. Maybe a couple more in here too. I don't know. Well, we moved on from that other location. We moved down the road where I found that uh, 1852 half penny yesterday. We didn't find anything else there. Come on over to this next location that we have right behind me is the old um, depot, as you can see it there. I'll spin around. And uh, in front of that, if you can see, this edge of the green grass coming right through here used to be the train track. It went right over there where that horse is. It went right on over there to a bridge. And on the other side of this uh, tree line is the bayou. Crossed over the bayou. We were hunting just directly on the other side of those trees right over there. And so we're still in the same area, uh, same landowner. And this is the old um, depot. And I'm fixing to make my way up to the tracks and out in that field just a little bit and around the depot here, see what we come up with. Hopefully we can find some old coins and uh, some relics. So let's get the swing and see what we got. The bayou wants to go in this place. I'm telling him there's nothing but snakes in here waiting for us. This just looks creepy, man. Let's take a look. Let's go see what it looks like. The old depot. Can you imagine living in the day? Nugget Noggin, if you were with us, you'll be digging right there. <laughs> He'd be, be going right underneath, <laughs> wouldn't he? This is about to collapse in on us. Well, let's hope not. See through the floor, though. Yeah. Ooh, don't fall through, man. Back in the day, this thing was a hopping place. You could go all over the world from here. There's the front, and right out in the front here was the uh, the train tracks. And I'm sure you could get underneath this thing and probably find all types of coins. As much money would exchange through here, but I'm not going to buy the get under. That's just where that big old huge South Louisiana. Water moxkin or, or rattlesnake or something. I just. Yep, this would be really cool to get underneath it. Maybe in the cold winter. Do it. But I'm not about to get in there. Railroad Yep, check that out. Ain't no way I'm going underneath there. Ain't no way I'm getting in there with my weight. He doesn't weigh 150 pounds. I weigh twice that much and I'm th that, that floor looks like it's going to go in on him come around and look at the front porch Woo! just fell in the big hole old bicycle oh yeah check that out the old porch you know there's coins underneath there all the bags that government got them off of that yep that's where they got off the tracks went through the depot and the cars would be right out there if they ever clear this off we're going to come back there's going to be a lot of treasures at this place. A lot of treasures. Till then, let's go see if we can find some out in the field. All right, get another 1819. This is going to be a, a smashed, looks like a smashed infield. It's uh, probably looks fired and hit sideways like that. And, well, I tell you, I've been digging a lot of these Civil War bullets out of this place. They had to be a camp here. At least the place they rested. Getting the buckle and all these bullets. Who knows? Let's keep on rolling. All right. Day two is in the books. What do you think there? I think we had a great day. I think we had a, a good day. I think we had a good two days. Uh, man, we have dug a lot of stuff. A lot of trash, but lots of great treasures on really just one spot. I would say probably what size of a football field, maybe. Something like that. And uh, we had a really good time. I appreciate the invite coming down and uh, and finding some good treasures. And I think I found the greatest treasure of the mall. I'll show it to you in a minute. 
but uh, at least it is for me. But uh, Bayou had a better day today than I did. If you look at everything that he got, I've got the one find that it just made my day. I could have stopped after that. But uh, we had, I had a good day too. I didn't find as many silvers, but uh, I got all the silvers yesterday and he got them today. And here is Bayou's digs. And uh, he got him a trio of Indian heads. He got him uh, a double. I got him a shield nickel and a V nickel. And what was the V nickel? Uh, 93. 93. And check that out. He got him a, a, a P war nickel. He got him a 1903 barber, and he got him a 1887 seated. He got him a cow head. Uh, so that's probably a bolo, what you put a tie on or something, because they used to have a lot of cows and stuff out here. And uh, there's some lead. He found another ring, a Mississippi token, another piece of silver, a couple of flat buttons. Uh, there's his bullets that he found, and then some type of little pin here. Uh, he got another piece like a watch back. He got him a little buckle too, just like I did. A plumb bob, another kind of buckle. A clock winding key, a heart pendant, a piece of um, ceramic, and then a bell seal from Texas and Pacific. And so he got a very good day today. And his best find, would you say, is your as you're seated, you got sat down today. I sat down on that morning view today. And we both got seated, didn't we? Yeah, we're going to lay everything out here in a minute, show you everything that we found over the last two days. But let me show you what I found. All right, here's all my trash from yesterday. And here's all my trash today. I kept a few things out. I'm going to, it's got a little decorative uh, top to it, valve. I'm going to clean this up really good and keep it. Got a pocket watch, another old lipstick, and a D buckle. There's some of my modern coins there. Got another type of button. Bayou Diggs got him a Rhode Island button. I'm going to clean this up and see if this is not going to be maybe a Rhode Island button. I don't know. It's caved in the middle. If I can clean it up, we might get some de definition off of it. Uh, got a bell seal. I think it says U.S. Or 115 or something. I don't know. Uh, got a few wheat pennies. Didn't look at the dates on that. 1893, 1898 uh, Indian head pennies. I got me a trio of V nickels today. And then I've got a buffalo nickel and a war nickel. So I got my trifecta of nickels today, but I missed this one. I was digging in that area and missed this uh, shield nickel. And by you guys, if I got that one, that would have been a quadfecta. Yeah, here's all my bullets. Got a couple of fired bullets, uh, five, three, uh, three ringers, two Marshall infield bullets. We thought this one was going to be something different, but it's just cut. But we believe it's going to be a Marshall infield just like that one, but maybe not. Uh, it could be some other type. I'm not up on my bullets like I should be. And the find of the weekend would be this right here. That is a U.S. box plate. Uh, ammo box plate first one I've ever dug and that made my day right there I'll get out of the Sun the light and let you see it a little bit better there and it was been over it was tacoed and I got a chance I got to it out I can straighten it out a little bit more if I put some heat but I'm just gonna probably leave it like it is That's my so, there's all the trash and here's all the treasures for the day like I always say, the greatest treasure is that once you can come down and dig out of the ground and great, good, old stuff, relics. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.